How would you treat a casualty with a dislocated shoulder? A. Rest, ice compression, elevation. B. Push it back in place, support and advise to see GP. C. Support as comfortably as possible and transfer to hospital. Or D. Give painkillers and send to hospital. So, what do you think? Is it A, B, C or D? Rest, ice compression, elevation. Okay, just strain, just strain. Wouldn't push it back in the face. You can't get painkillers. So... Your casualty is conscious and has an open fracture to the lower leg. You have plenty of help and an ambulance has been called. What is your treatment? A. Control the bleeding and treat for shock. B. Control the bleeding and raise the injured leg. C. Treat for shock and then control the bleeding. Or D. Raise the head and shoulders ensuring the injured limb gets plenty of blood supply. Okay, if you want to pause the video, I have time to think about this. What would you do? A, B, C, or D? Which of the following would you recommend for a casualty who has just sprained their ankle? A rest with leg raised if possible and apply ice b rest with leg raised and apply local heat c apply local heat and advise casualty to keep joint moving or d massage the swelling so which of the following would you recommend for casualty who is just sprained their ankle a b c or d the answer is Which is a word search now probably the best way to do this is to pause the video do a screenshot print it out and then work out where these words are in the word search deformity fractures joints muscles shock skeleton spinal cord and vertebrae what i'll also do is i'm going to click on the answers and when I click on the answers, the answers will come up on this part of the word search. So again, just pause the video when I do that. Do a print screen. Print it out so you can obviously refer to the answers if you can't find the words in the word search. So the answers are... So again, pause it. Do a print screen and print it out. And again, if you haven't already done so, you can pause this part of the video, do a print screen and print that out. 30D is all about poisoning. The definition of a poison is a substance which is taken into the body in sufficient quantity and it may cause temporary or permanent damage. How do you recognise food poisoning? Nausea and vomiting. Abdominal cramps, headache, diarrhea, sweating, and shock. Poisoning, the treatment for all types and routes of poisoning, the following rules of treatment should be applied. Limit further intake, maintain the airway, identify the poison taken if possible, and call the emergency services. Food poisoning treatment, rest the casualty, Give sips of water to rehydrate. Seek medical advice. Identify the source of contamination and also treat for shock. A conscious casualty has swallowed bleach. What would be your immediate treatment? A. Induce vomiting. B. Give sips of water. C. Place in the recovery position. Or D. Encourage casualty to cough. So what would your answer be to this? A conscious casualty has swallowed bleach. Now the thing is with bleach, we don't want to bring the bleach back up, we want to start diluting it. So the answer would be... Give sips of water. Okay, this is a jargon buster. And um, 
we need to uh, put words in this part of the grid which relate to the questions here. So what is the answer when the symptoms include chest pain, breathlessness and pain on the left arm? So take a, a second or two to think that and then I'll click on the word which is the answer to the question. And it is heart attack can cause these symptoms. Now blood contains platelets, red cells, white cells and what else? If you can remember back to when we went through blood, what is the main liquid that all these cells are actually uh, present in? And they are, or the liquid is called Plasma. Cerebral compressions relate to which part of the body? Cerebral compressions relate to which part of the body? What part of the body is? The head. Hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia occur as a result of this condition. Now remember hyper too much sugar, hypo too little sugar. So what could this bring on? And the answer is diabetes. Affects the blood sugar level. And lastly, ball and socket, partially movable and immovable, are all types of what? So we're left with one word. Can you remember what that stands for? It is joints.